The following video is dedicated to Vortexy Gaming. Malone, the daughter of Hyrule's most blazious landowner, Mario, I mean Talon. During the days dreaming of a knight in shiny armor, she was the perfect match for the hero of time as he grew older and the other way around. But sometimes your dream partner might turn into your greatest nightmare and a life in solitude and great depression. This is the possible life story of Malom in the three timeline branches that Ocarina of Time leads into. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press the notification bell with all notifications to help us pass 300,000 subscribers. Around 6,000 slots left to be qualified for a big Switch OLED plus game giveaway. Malon, daughter of Talon and an unnamed mother, was born towards the end of the Hyrulean Civil War. A long-lasting conflict of great brutality and an uneasy peace between the central kingdom of Hyrule and the western Garuda kingdom over the possible corpse of rebellious Shiko. It is also possibly that Longlong Ranch, as the only properly elevated stronghold in Hyrule Field, was also besieged during the war, but didn't fall and thus Malon had an early happy childhood. Little is known about Malon's mother, apart from the fact that she didn't die giving birth to her daughter and raised her for at least a few years teaching a a song which she had composed herself and to not be lazy like her father. Sadly for Malon, by the time she had turned 10, her mother had either left her ultra-lazy husband and London Ranch or more probably passed away, leaving it up to Malon and the rather annoyed Ingo to take care of London Ranch, since Talon was constantly sleeping in his house. Despite this tragic turn of events, Malon still remained a cheerful girl, much thanks to her companion Epona, who was her remaining tie to a now-gone mother. Well, that and scolding her father, just like when she first met Link and handed him the Lon Lon Roost to wake her father from embarrassing her family. Malone and Link immediately found the tone as two rural characters who share the same love for animals, in particular horses and the fact that Talon also liked Link, even jokingly offer her daughter's hand, point to that this was a relationship meant to be in all of the three timeline branches. Teaching Epona's song to Link, which he then played on the Fairy Ocarina, shows that Malon trusted and enjoyed each other's company before Link pulled the Masters. It was then that tragedy struck once again, as Ganondorf's takeover brought the hard-working but mean Ingo to take over the ranch from Talon. Malon, however, stayed as she wanted to protect the animals, but could do little about Ingo's plans to hand Epona over to Ganondorf. That is until the adult Link returned and humiliated the narcissistic Ingo, first on the racetrack and then by jumping out on Epona to Hyrule Field, bringing the ranch back to the ownership of Malon and Talon. Malon truly enjoyed Link's company and rewarded him for his great horse riding skill by sending one of the ranch cows to Link's home in Kokiri Forest, as soon to be home of the dynasty, but not in this branch of the timeline. As Link either died in battle against Ganondorf or was sent away by Princess Zelda to the past in order to relive his childhood. Which brings the question, how did Malone handle both outcomes? After all, in Ocarina of Time's credits, we see her singing and celebrating with everyone else in Hyrule, but realizing that Link was gone, did she move on from her romantic feelings for the hero in green? The answer is that we have no indication as the adult timeline branch is the only branch where our trace of Malon is completely gone after the credits of Ocarina of Time as Link was sent back to the past to create a new better outcome. Though we can assume that with Ganondorf sealed and Talon with Malon and Inga hosting the Great Victory Party, Lon Lon Ranch prospered in the time when Ganondorf Ganon was sealed. So potentially Malon had a happy life with someone else on the ranch in the adult timeline after she one day took over the ranch. It is just that we lacked information to confirm this notion or traces of descendants. Which is a shame, as the remaining two branches were most likely not as kind to Malon. So let's get back to that decisive battle, but the outcome where Link fell and everything went to hell until Ganondorf was sealed away in the Golden Land. Here we know one thing for certain, Malon survived and had descendants, though not in Hyrule, but rather in Oracle of Seasons Holodrum, suggesting that Malon might have lived her life out on Lon Lon Ranch, but her descendants left Hyrule after the imprisoning war, while Malon and Talon left for Holodrum shortly after Link fell. After all, Malon had feelings for her hero, and with him falling to Ganondorf, she might have had enough and left Hyrule. Either way, the bloodline didn't remain in Hyrule in the downfall timeline until at least its very end, or even Convergence, which eventually brought Lon Lon Ranch as Mabba Ranch until it was destroyed during the Great Calamity. Which brings us to the first confirmed destruction of the ranch, namely in the Child timeline. The most heartwarming, but also the most sad version of Malon, and even entrusted him a pony. 
Relinquishing the child host that had ties to a mother must have required some persuading, especially since Link was leaving Hyrule. Perhaps it was even Malone's own suggestion or parting gift. Just as Princess Zelda handed the child hero the Ocarina of Time prior to his departure on Epona shortly after. So what happened while the hero was abroad in foreign lands? Probably war and tragedy for Malon and her relatives. And by that I mean the Garuda invasion under the command of Ganondorf, which most likely resulted in the destruction of London Branch. We know that Castletown fell into ruins in the child timeline, and had to be relocated north between Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. And this was no doubt the result of Ganondorf touching everything that came in his path, including the Hylian stronghold in the middle of Hyrule Field, London Ranch into ruins. There are very clear indications in Twilight Princess Ordon Village that Malone survived the Garuda Hylian War, and the indication comes from Hyrule Historia and Twilight Princess itself, as Link, the hero of Twilight, was a bloodline descendant of the Hero of Time, meaning that the Hero of Time returned from his foreign journeys, but too late to challenge Ganondorf in this timeline branch. Just as Talon ended up in Kakariko in the adult timeline, it is plausible that Malon alone or with Talon ended up in the same village during the child timeline after the fall of their home Lonlon Ranch, staying there until the day Link would ride into the settlement on a now adult Epona, which Malon would immediately recognize along with Link riding her. A heartwarming welcome and a romance meant to be, as Link could obviously not have a relationship with Princess Zelda, and definitely didn't want to fall into the Ruto trap a second time. So Malon was the perfect fit. Both were children raised in rural conditions, and with plenty of trials thrown their way so far in life. These two characters match despite having rather different hair colors, a detail we will return to soon enough. So here they were, with probably other survivors with three options. Follow the majority up north for an urban life in New Hyrule Castle Town. See if there is a way to bring back Malone's home back to life or settle in Link's childhood home. Neither Link nor Malone were raised as town folk, so the much bigger Hyrule Castle Town wasn't an option at all. Besides, it would remind Link of him not being remembered as a hero. Then London Ranch, but it was in ruins leaving no other option than Kokiri Forest, which likely was deserted and filled with Ganondorf's minions during the Gerudo Hylian War. A transformation from Kokiri Forest to Ordon Village, which no doubt Malon with her experience of managing Hyrule's grandest country estate, definitely was involved with, perhaps even more so than Link. You see, Ordon Village is first and foremost a village which sustains itself from farming and ranching, with cultivated fields, water mills, horse breeding and a substantial goat ranch the animal on the crest of the new village. All of the mentioned traits of the starting location in Twilight Princess are signs of Malone's impact on the new settlement. While well, Link's childhood home after a slight expansion became the house of a happy loving couple, which was eventually enlarged. Here Malone and Link lived well until the day Link realized that Ganondorf could return, but that it could take time for him to escape from the Twilight Realm. And if he as the hero of the adult timeline couldn't be there to challenge him, then a bloodline descendant of him and Malon would. Resulting in the red-haired Malon and the blonde-haired Link having offspring with brown hair, just like Link of Ordona would have, the descendants of the founders of the Orden village. Even so, the seemingly perfect time with Link did not have a happy ending for Malon, as Link, due to his lack of hero of time status, would offer his combat services so that he at least would create a name for himself on the field of battle after securing his bloodline. And this was his undoing and the beginning of his lingering as a spiritual being that was the hero Shade, leaving Malon most likely with an infant or child and village which were what remained of her deceased husband just like her mother and Epona back in her own childhood. A child that would grow up without his father, but a mother who would raise him to be a strong man, who would be prepared to fight, and if he didn't have to, then pass the duty on to his children. A bloodline of the hero which eventually culminated in the era of Twilight, where Malon's and Link's bloodline descendant under the guidance of the spirit of the hero of time fulfilled the noble pledge of the family. Furthermore, it seems that after taking down the one who ruined everything, the family moved out of Ordon and back to the fields of Hyrule, where in the Shadow Era, a new Malon was born and met with another Link, though this time a spiritual successor of the hero and not a relative. Perhaps leading to the founding of the second Lon Lon Ranch, the one we know from Age of Calamity as Maba Ranch and Breath of the Wild as Maba Ranch ruins after Ganondorf's malice reached the lasting legacy of Malon and her shining knight. And that is the tragic life and love of Malone. 
the ranch girl who helped the Hero of Time in multiple ways, and may have been with him the founder of the bloodline and dynasty that would bring the Hero of Twilight to Hyrule's rescue. So be sure to share your thoughts on my link in the comments and leave a like plus press that subscribe button as we are 6,000 subscribers away from giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED model with game. Only the first 300,000 subscribers will be qualified. Also for more Zelda Furies like this one, press the notification bell and again for all notifications to not miss any of them. Last but not least, a great thanks to all patreon.com slash patrons and in particular role producer Charles Shush. You rock and please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos.